Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the four last things. Death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Last episode, we talked about whether the spiritual hell is tangible. This time, do we lose anything by going to heaven? Now again, when I say heaven, I mean the spiritual heaven. Obviously, there are some things that we can't take with us, like our physical bodies, our money and possessions, and so forth. However, as we've been discussing in the last couple of episodes, just because the souls in heaven don't have physical bodies, that doesn't deprive them necessarily of the ability to move things in heaven or the ability to experience touch sensations. Also, I would argue that the other functions of the physical body, that its unique appearance helps us to recognize each other, could be easily performed by souls in other ways. Therefore, by itself, the transition from a physical body to a spiritual existence wouldn't really involve the loss of anything that our happiness hinges on. One thing that doesn't need to be dwelled on too much is the loss of our material possessions. Material possessions are useful to us because we need them in order to establish our place in the world and for comfort and utility. However, the Bible speaks of God preparing a place for us in heaven, which means there is no need to establish our place in heaven. God has done that for us. As for comfort and utility, that's all part of perfect happiness, so there's really no reason to think that the loss of money or possessions would rob us of anything we really need. Being supplied with all we need to live and be happy, without being robbed of our senses or our ability to interact with others, seems to establish that we don't lose anything by going to heaven. However, there's a couple of other things to address, and both of them have to do with our interactions with other people. First, there's the question of whether our interactions with others would be as good in heaven as on earth. Remember, though, people in heaven are better people than they are on earth, not just in terms of morals. Everything about them would actually be better, more vibrant, and more rewarding. There's also the question of whether the same people we knew here on earth will also be with us in heaven, particularly since, according to Jesus, relatively few are saved. The answer to this question, I'm afraid, may feel a bit unpleasant to those of us who want to think of ourselves as so unique as to be indispensable. Still, the fact of the matter is that our goodness, our righteousness, our pleasantness to be around, our uniqueness, and so forth, all come from God. And even if we don't get to heaven ourselves, that doesn't mean that heaven will lack the things that made us good or special. After all, God, who is the very creator of those things, will still be there. And if he made us once, he can do it in a certain sense again. Now, I'm not saying he necessarily will, but if he doesn't, it will only be because our absence from heaven doesn't subtract anything of value from it. God isn't going to let heaven be imperfect or lacking in something just because we foolishly decided we didn't want to participate. However, of course, it's more than just not losing anything in heaven. Because heaven is perfect, it represents a substantial gain for everyone who ends up there. There are bound to be all sorts of amazing things in people there who we've never imagined, as well as the angels and, of course, God himself, the source of it all. So, no, we lose nothing by going to heaven which could have any impact on our ability to be happy there. Next time, do we lose everything by going to hell? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.